Hi there, Stampers. Welcome to my very first episode of Fun Fold Fridays. So periodically, I decided I'm going to do a fun fold on a Friday evening, and this is my first one. So this is really fun. This is, um, I don't really know for sure what it's called, but we're going to call it the Shadow Box Card. So you can decorate the front and then open the side, the inside, and then there is a cool, I'll hold it up this way so you can see, there's a little shadow box in there. So I'm gonna share dimensions. I'm not gonna do the actual stamping of the card, but I will share dimensions on how to do this shadow box card. But first I'm gonna start with my color combo. Of course, I used uh, basic white in there, and then I also used Fresh Freesia, Petal Pink, Calypso Coral, and Pool Party. So these are all nice uh, spring colors together for my color palette. And then I, uh, like I said, you can use any sets and, and stamps that you would like, but I used uh, items from the current spring mini catalog. So the sentimental, sentimental Park stamp set and the coordinating dies that go with this and Petal Park stamp set with its uh, coordinating punch. So both of those are bundles from the current mini catalog, like I said. And then I'm going to bring the card sample back here and turn it like this so you can see the effect that we're trying to do here for this card. So um, I have some uh, a template here that was cut out of uh, Tangelo Twist card stock. So this bright orange. Hey, you know what? With the color refresh coming up, we just never know. Tangelo Twist might be coming back. You do not know what's going to happen, but we'll find out on March 29th. Okay, so I'll tell you about these scoring uh, dimensions and things like that. But I, I wrote up a little card, so if you want to take a picture of this or whatever. Shadow box card, and the card base is actually two separate pieces. Okay, so you're going to have one piece um, that's the folding, the scoring part, and it's five and a half by ten and a half. And you're going to score at um, one half inch and four inches and four and a half and eight. So you actually have one, two, three, four score lines. And I've written those out for you. And then you're going to have a uh, same color, whatever cardstock you use, the same color for your front. And that front piece is uh, five and a half by four inches. Okay. And then the inside white piece that you decorate is five and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then the white front piece is five and a quarter by three and three quarters. So that's pretty much your dimensions in a in a nutshell. And like I said, if you want to take a picture of that or whatever, I'll leave that for just a second longer. And then I'm going to show you how I did how I did the fold on this. Okay. So with your piece, you've got your score lines. And we'll start here. So where this half inch is here, and this this is actually where your shadow box is going to be. So it's going to fold up like this. If you can envision this, this is where you want to cut out that uh, rectangle die. So I use the stitch rectangles. You can use the decal dies or whatever you would like for that. But here we go. Whoops. I had this taped in here. But I did cut out my opening. You can see the opening for your shadow box area. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this all up. I do have to get my bone folder. Sorry about that. You know, you think you have everything, and then I forgot my doggone bone folder. So we're going to crease all of these really well. Your folds, your score lines to make our little shadow box. So crease that. Like I said, you can use any stamp sets and colors that you would like to make this. So then we've got our see-through area, and you are going to put, oh, I guess I didn't score that one. Hang on, this half-inch one, I mean, it's scored, it's just not creased. So don't forget your half-inch part. That's where you're going to put your really strong tape. In this case, I'm going to use some 
Karen tape. And I'm going to, I'm just gonna put one right in the middle. Obviously I would cover the whole thing, but for time's sake, we're just gonna do this one piece, peel this off. Now, you don't have to worry about lining anything up. You leave your card open. This is your front flap, or your front flap's gonna be attached to this. You fold it all down like this, and you leave this open, and then you fold it like this, okay? And then when you open it, that piece is automatically attached to make your shadow box, okay? And then, like I said, you would have your white piece on the inside. You would do all your decorating as you see fit. Then this folds over like this, and when you go to send it, it lays flat. And again, you want some really strong tape for this area right here. So I'll use tear and tape really quickly here. I would use a lot more, but for now, I'm just gonna put a couple pieces on there. Peel this off. And put my front piece, line that up. Okay. And then if it overhangs at the bottom or whatever, you can just trim that off with your scissors, but it should line up pretty well. So you've got your front piece and whatever color you're using, the inside base opens like this, and you've got your shadow box card. Now, I did not like this seam here. There's no way around that. These two pieces are glued together. I did not like that seam. So I covered mine up with some pretty paper. So again, you've got your pretty white piece all decorated. I use the Fresh Freesia ribbon that's gonna be retiring. You open it up and I use some of the, um, what's it called? Fancy Flora paper. And uh, this has the colors really nicely in here. It picks up all the colors that I was using and just covered up my seam and put that designer paper there. So that just adds a real pretty look there. And then I decorated it, like I said, with the dyes and your sentiment on the inside. And you can put flowers or vines hanging down or whatever you would like. Okay, so that is really it in a nutshell. This is my uh, very first fancy fold or fun fold on a Friday. I'll bring back the directions, shadow box card. If you have any questions about this fun fold, please let me know. And until the next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.